Josh, tell us the spray paint story. The spray paint story. <laughs> Uh, and tell it right. <laughs> I, I was several, several years ago. There's a guy here uh, named Nate Polk, and he he left in '03 or '04 uh, before I got here. And he was a he was a guy like me. He was a little undersized, and, and he played safety. And uh, one day they gave Nate a jersey, and Nate didn't have a number on his jersey, so he went and got a can of white spray paint and spray painted his number on his jersey. Well, I came out here my first day for uh, Pasco one summer. And uh, one of the seniors, Kenny Brown, said to another guy, hey, he looks kind of like spray paint. And one guy started calling me spray paint, and then two or three, and before you know it, you know, here we are five years later, the name stuck. So. Now, the only time that you actually used spray paint, you told me, was you did your helmet. Isn't that right? They had plain helmets, and, you they, put, and it, but it wasn't related to the number deal. But the no, it helmet. wasn't. Well, I, I had a silver helmet through camp my freshman year because we ran out of helmet, and some people thought I spray painted that. But. There's a lot of a lot of different stories I kind of get around that go with that. Well, those of us who use it, there's a lot worse things you could be called. <laughs> yes, sir. Absolutely. <laughs> Just talk about how some of your uh, things outside the football field, Josh, that you're involved in. Maybe okay. your trip that you spent over last summer over in Tanzania and everything that you do. Uh, sure. Uh, last summer I had the opportunity in May of 2008 to go to uh, Tanzania. We went to Shinyanga and Bariati, uh, Tanzania, and uh, went on a church planting mission trip through a group called E3 Partners. And uh, all we did was we would go door to door, or not even really door to door, they didn't have doors, it was kind of mud huts, and uh, evangelize. And we would share the gospel with people each uh, American had a translator with them, and we had a few nationals that were working alongside of us. And uh, we would go through and, and evangelize throughout the day. In the evenings, we'd have discipleship sessions, and there are still, you know, several churches still going there that we planted. We also took a uh, medical team, a den dental team, and an optical team, handed out over 2,000 sets of eyeglasses, and provided medical care and stuff among the villages we were we were witnessing in. So it was a uh, eye-opening experience, I'll say that. Um, you know, there's there's almost no way to put that kind of trip into words, but it was huge, but uh, that was my, my trip last summer in May. Um, since then, I've been involved, you know, a couple little things around here, a lot through the church. I work with youth a lot, you know, going to youth camps and, and talking to high schools and stuff, and, you know, random stuff like Habitat for Humanity, I got the opportunity to do that, you know, once during the spring through FCA uh, and our representative Jamie Strange here. But, so you already have a few job offers? Um, tentatively, I do, and, and that was difficult because, you know, there were places hiring this summer that hired several, you know, of my peers and JSU graduates, and I had, you know, guys I graduated with saying, well, we need some more people you know, over here in Huntsville or wherever. And what, what type of positions were you offered? Um, I, I wasn't officially offered anything, but it was, you know, more under-the-radar type stuff. But, um, you know, there was stuff uh, with Lockheed and with, you know, some guys here in Gadsden that, that they're hiring JSU grads, and so it was uh, difficult to kind of look away from those. But... You know, I, I really prayed about it a lot, and I really felt like this is where I needed to be for the fall, finishing out my senior year, finishing strong, rather than, you know, walking away from something I'm done. So. You obviously don't do all the things that you do for the accolades, but talk about your uh, your award last week with uh, being on the All-State uh, AFCA uh, All Good Works team, only 22, you know, players from around the country, student-athletes, not just football. Just talk about that aspect of it, um, kind of getting recognized for or something like that. Um, that, that was a huge honor. Um, like you said, you know, you don't really think about that kind of stuff while you do it. And so when it hits you, you're kind of like, oh, well, you know, you don't really realize what was going on. But, you know, the biggest thing is I was on there with guys like Tim Tebow and stuff like that. And, you know, it just really, really kind of stunned me at first. And then I, was, you know, was just thankful for the opportunity to be recognized, I guess. So.